go, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, what's up? Name is Jet Leo One, and welcome back to more Soul Calibur 2 Weapon Master Mode. As last episode, we got through the extremely short Altair chapter and threw ourselves off a ledge. Now we're in the city of Nashira in Aldebaran. I'm probably butchering those names so bad it's not even funny, but I don't have a pronunciation guide, and I don't think anyone does, because this has never been voice acted. Okay, prize money doubles with each win. Oh, this is that one that I like doing, because then you can just back up, throw people off the ledge, and make all the money. Yes, the hit <laughs> English failure. Right away, I'm doing awful this episode, I'm sorry. The history of the city of Nashira revolved around its combat arena, and it was known as the city of gamblers. The bustling townsfolk gave the place the feel of a miniature Bennett Nash. Oh crap, we're gonna get sold into slavery again, aren't we? <laughs> when you entered Nashira, it was going it was another day of burly warriors seeking challengers and gamblers seeking riches. Perhaps you could find information about the knights here. If you asked a young townsperson for directions to the arena and made your way over to it. Upon passing through the gate, a great cheer rose around you. You'd walked in through the entrance for new challengers. You should check your surroundings better, because you don't want to fail more spot checks like that. You stood around, cursing your luck as the onlooker stared at you, trying to size up your strength. Versus Yun Sung. Versus Yun Sung. All you have to do is, yeah, prize money doubles with each win. All you've got to really do, because you're playing as Link, is just do this! Or get ringed out with one kick, because Yun Sung's a cheer. Mission failed. Doesn't really matter, though, because you unlocked... Oh. Never mind. That says, like, you unlock the next mission anyways. But no, I guess you have to get a certain amount of rounds done before it will let you. Bro, go for it, go for it! Yeah, yeah, Link. And I ring myself out. Uh, nothing's going right. My computer's acting up too, and I level up anyways. Nice. Now you face the wrath of a level 10 opponent. Like, that's going to make so much of a difference. Versus Berserker, okay. We don't even have him unlocked in the game. It's just like, we're going to throw him in all, all the battles you're in. Get it? Oh, come on. What the heck? Ah. Come on. Okay, I think I just have to win this match, and then... Yeah. Just win this one, and then back out. Yep. End the battle, receive 300 golds. 300 golds. And then mission succeeded, yay. You complete mission. You move to the next stage. I feel like that is going to be from a game, even though I didn't even... I don't even know if that's in actually a game. Might be a reference, it might not be. We'll see. The enemy's weapon guard breaks, beat the enemy. This again, really? As you left the temple at which you spent the night, the monk said to you, Be careful, traveler. Someone in the area was ambushing passerby. Several skilled warriors from the arena at Nashira had already become victims. Was it the work of those you sought? Thanking the monk for his warning, you headed out of the temple. While walking along the path besides the river, a woman suddenly jumped out from the nearby bushes and blocked your path. She brandished a huge weapon disproportionate to her body. Okay. She wasn't one of the ones you saw in Mizar, but it was possible they'd added members to their ranks since then. Had to be careful. It was clear that the woman was the one attacking the traveler. She didn't look like she had any intention of holding a conversation. There was no choice but to fight! Versus Who is this character? Ah, Song Mina. Ah, Song Mina. Fate yeah. fight. I guess she isn't unlocked by default. Come on. Get it. There we go. Throws! You weren't expecting that, were you? Bro, tackle, you're done. Tell me what I need to know about everything. Where are the bandits? Where's Soul Edge? Where's that annoying guy named Leon, Emperor of the Ixion, so I can go throw him against the wall and put the hammer to his face? Because he's annoying like that. Congratulations! We have unlocked Crytomeria Ridge and Siam Ruins. Okay, let's go to Crytomeria Ridge first, because that doesn't seem to be on the path. So if we go out of the way... I don't know. Okay, I don't know if this is proper procedure or not, but just guard impact the enemy attacks, okay? If you follow this roadmaster, it will lead you to Crytomeria Ridge. After losing to you, Arma vowed to mend her ways and stop attacking travelers. She began calling you Master. 
Because it's Animal Crossing and you get to tell people what to call you for a nickname. Whackpiff. According to her, a famous warrior lived in Crytomeria Ridge. Several days ago, she saw a group of men head out to the ridge. You chose to follow their trail, but there was no one to be found at the ridge. Only a dirt mound with a sword ju jutting out of it, surrounded by flowers. From the condition of the sword and dirt, it was clear that the grave was fresh. You realized that there had been a battle here. Yet if the man on the of the ridge was the one that was killed, who had placed the flowers? Don't move! Was it not enough to take my master's life? Have you come now to desecrate his grave as well? Turning around, you face a swordsman, brandishing her weapon. You tried to explain, but she didn't listen. Silence! Listen up, dog of Viral! Hey, hey, now! You best not let down your guard because I'm a woman. My toughness succeeded that of even my master, and I'll prove it. Face with no other choice, you drew your weapon. Because people are stupid. I'm an obviously a dog of Viral, even though I don't have his, uh, colors on me. Okay, gotta get the... Gotta do that. Okay, just get two of those. Okay, I missed. That would have been an easy one to do that on. And I get knocked out. You only have to guard break, or guard... You have to advance and guard two attacks. I can't remember what that... That's guard impact, okay. But for me, it's just advance and guard. Who's Marvel versus Capcom 3! I keep playing that game so much. Okay, can you guard impact low attacks? Up oh, there we go. No, you blocked my attacks. I must fall down like you knocked me out. Mission succeeded. Yay! Okay. And I guess that does nothing. Okay, Siam Ruins. This is the proper path. The enemy's weapon absorbs life. Defeat the enemy under this condition. Vampires, huh? We can deal with that. This is the way to the underground passage, Master, but it is known as a filthy place, and everyone steers clear of it. Arma continued to consider herself your disciple. She was knowledgeable about the area, and according to her, an old underground passage lay just ahead. You remembered the three gates you heard about in Altair. Perhaps this passage led to a second one. After traveling for a while, the spirit sword suddenly began to resonate as if reacting to something. Wondering at this, you began to search for the location that caused the strongest response. Because, you know, sword is a dowsing rod, no problems there, it doesn't look stupid or anything. You soon arrived in an old ruin hidden on the opposite shore of the river not far from the path. I was surprised at first that someone like you would make it here, but I see now that you have soul caliber. What are the priests of Altair thinking? The young man in the ruin spoke to you and looked at the spirit sword in your hand. It appeared that you weren't welcome. Dude, I have the hero sword. Calm down. I know that you're nothing more than another fool in search of soul edge. Leave now, as he pointed his weapon at you, or this place will be your grave. Rather cocky, aren't you? Bastion, guardian of the empire. But don't you know I just throw people off of cliffs? Come on. Can we do it? Perfected. Yes, this place will be my grave. <laughs> You're funny. That's like the best comedy I've seen all day. And now we have survival mode with extra weapons unlocked. Sweet. So Caliber 2 data saved to slot A. Congratulations! New stage unlocked. The Underground Juno. Navigate through the enemy infested dungeon and defeat the boss within the time limit. Yeah, there's a time limit on a dungeon. It's annoying. We're gonna hate this. We're gonna hate this one, I'm telling you. Bastion fell to his knees, his shoulders shuddering with every haggard breath. Damn you! You'll regret not finishing me off! I swear I'll kill you! You explained to him that while it was true you were seeking Soul Edge, you were well aware of its danger and that you were chasing the knight who destroyed the gate in Mizar, but Bastion did not listen. I don't care what Altair and Mizar have to say. I don't trust you. You're the same as Viral. No, maybe worse. At least Viral doesn't pretend to hide what he's doing. Who is Viral? He's the man you're chasing. He went into the underground passage of Juno. He probably thinks Soul Ledge is on the other side. He's an idiot. If you're chasing him, then hurry up and go. Upon arriving at the underground passage, you notice that water covered the floor. You begin to get the fit sinking feeling that the water level is rising. Looks like you'd better hurry. So let's hurry. But we're going to do that next episode. So this has been Jetly on One. I will see you next time as we take on the dungeon named after. I think Juno is also... One of, I think that's a Roman god of the dead. Or something. Something about ferrying people to the afterlife. Whatever. See you then.